Here would be the free body diagram for the um, system. We have a mass sub one would be the 3.0 kilogram mass, and mass sub two would be a 1.0 kilogram mass. We know that here for part A, we, we are going to apply Newton's second law to the x-axis of each box. So we can say m sub 2g uh, sine of theta minus t would be equal to m sub 2 times a, m sub, rather we can just simply say f plus t would equal m sub 1a. Next, again, these two are connected, therefore they're going to have the exact same acceleration. We're going to add these two together and then solve for the acceleration of the system. So we can say m sub 2, rather the acceleration will equal m sub 2g sine of theta, and this would be plus f. This would be divided by m sub 1 plus m sub 2, and uh, we can um, solve. So a would be equal to uh, 1.0 kilograms times 9.80 meters per second squared, multiplied by sine of 30 degrees, and then plus uh, 2.3 newtons, divided by the total mass of 1 plus 3, so 4.0 kilograms. And we find that the acceleration here is 1.8, approximately 1.8 meters per second squared. Uh, we're going to plug back into the first equation, just simply because it's easier. And we can say that here, the tension force would then be equal to m sub 1a uh, minus the force f, and this would be equal to uh, 3.0 times 1.8 minus, again, uh, here it would be minus 2.3. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that principle there. Um, and then here, we find that the tension force is going to be equal to approximately 3.1 newtons. This would be our tension force. This would be our acceleration of the system. So that would be, those would be your two answers for part A. Now, for part B, we want to find the essentially the critical case where F has reached the max value, causing the tension here to then vanish. So essentially, the first equation, the first part of the equation um, in part A, we can say that then the acceleration would equal g sine of 30 degrees. And this would, of course, equal 4.9 meters per second squared, simply half of 9.8. This implies that, of course, t equals zero, and then that the force would simply be equal to mass sub 1a, given that the tension force has disappeared. So this would be 3.0 kilograms multiplied by 4.9 meters per second squared. And this is equaling 14.7 uh, newtons. This would be essentially the, uh, we can say, critical F uh, for the tension to disappear. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.